Hi folks and welcome back to Check Loan Tests. Um, today I want to show you how to easily change your recovery to a custom recovery like a clockwork mod. Um, now I'm trying to show you this with my number one and three node three clone. And um, of course you need uh, and rooted device for this. Uh, also you need the app um, Mobile Uncle Tools. The most people who got uh, a MediaTek device know this tool. You can do great things with this. Um, before I want to show you the recovery. Um, I tried uh, this CRT 2.2 recovery touch before on my number one S6 and it didn't work. So now I'm trying this on the N3. Maybe it works here. So you get into the mobile uncle tools and then you choose recovery update. It's important that the unpacked um, recovery is on the main page of your SD card and not in some... So I have to admit that this uh, recovery doesn't work with the number one N3 um, also but I have um, the number one N3 recovery 6.0.3.2 I have uh, unpacked it into the main directory now again we are starting mobile uncle tools recovery update and three here it is ready and reboot and this is working clockwork mod china mobiles.org and now we can do backups or uh, wipe and everything. It's uh, an almost actual version of uh, Clockwork Mod. So I think this will work very well. The next thing uh, I will do with this is flashing a new ROM, but I have to do this with um, the flash tools, so um, I'm showing you later and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video and you will watch the next videos again and have fun. So we we'll see you at the next video. Bye! Hi friends, now I'm trying to flash a new ROM for the number one and three. First I'm starting now this ROM, that's the draw tools. We need the SP flash tool 1344 flash tool starting and that ROM is called the HTC Galaxy Note 3 Max I'm loading the scatter file course we are taking out the preloader and the recovery so we don't have to change again the new recovery I already uh, I already flashed by the uh, um, mobile Uncle Toots 
Okay, this must be okay so far. Now I'm choosing download. Yes. Wait, I'm Now the phone is uh, connected with the computer and it's flashing, no error. I'm really surprised, haven't expected that. But this uh, could take a while, uh, so I'm uh, going to pause the recording so this is not so boring for you and uh, short before it's ready or uh, done flashing I will return. So the flashing process is almost over it's about 95 percent it lasted about five minutes This looks very good. Now I'm, un I'm unplugging the phone from the computer. Not so easy with one hand. I'm doing a short pause and then we test how the ROM is looking. So let's try to start the phone. Hey, that's looking great. A new boot pick. Samsung Start Music and an Android animation. This took, uh, may took a while, take a while. As always, when you flash a new ROM, because it's like the phone is completely set to factory mode, or there it is. Hey, that's looking very good. Um, the remote app is still there. Still looking the same. Here we have, I think, the same apps as before with the number 1 and 3 firmware I didn't see anything new and I think uh, I don't see any kind of bloatware that's really really good I think let's watch the memory what it says I don't know if that was uh, the same fake with the number one uh, um, software, but here we have uh, an fake 16 GB 
a mem no I think that was not here we have 2 times 16 GB fake I don't like that The uh, model number says A202 Mula 64. I don't know what kind of phone is this. Uh, Android version 4.2.1. What's um, more realistic than the faked 4.3 from the number one ROM? Even the build number says that. Do we have else? I'm afraid that I haven't used this phone a while, uh, so I can't say what's new or not. Where are the language? Audio display. Location? No, this is... Um, airplane mode, data, data usage, tethering Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, audio profiles, display, multi-window, let's try this. Um, with what could this work? Let's try the gallery. Hey, I think this is really working. Now you have here the gallery and here the email. That's really cool. But I wanted to look what languages is possible to set daytime battery security I can't find it I'm blind are ah, there language and input oh this looks good this is a complete multi language ROM Fine. Let's look what the lock screen is. Hmm, looks really good. I will test this ROM about a week and uh, test if uh, what the people say that the camera is a bit better, if that's right. So uh, in about a week I'm coming in again and tell you if this ROM is real better than the stock um, number one N3 ROM. Please help me if you know a newer uh, number one N3 ROM than uh, from November uh, 2013. Um, because I knew from the number one S6 that the newer uh, stock ROMs from number one are uh, really evolving and um, bringing some uh, real better uh, um, qualities in camera and um, I think um, from uh, Wi-Fi and some other things so um, 
I would be grateful if you are um, giving me some things I have to test with this ROMs or anything else you like. So um, I thank you for watching this video. I hope you have fun. You had fun, and uh, I hope um, my English is getting better. I'm trying my best, but it's. I think it's awful. Um, to the next video, I wish you a nice time and see you later. Bye. One thing is to see with this ROM, you got this uh, NVRAM error. Um, I showed in one of my videos how you can rid of this. And I'm trying uh, short if I can uh, fix this with the same files from the number 1S6 at this phone. Um, Give me a short time and I will see if this works. So, uh, as like uh, I did with my number one S6, I changed the uh, NVRAM files, the Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi dot uh, custom. And now we have no more NVRAM error, it's fixed. So now I'm testing this ROM and I will tell you in about a week how it works.